So now we pretend to be selling stuff. Actually sell things to people without embarrassing yourself. Well, too late. Especially if you say things like Okayo. I will lecture on the actual process of selling an item. Yes, Professor! <laughs> the student's not listening. Okay. What? You mean there's a test? Crap! Man. Greet the mother. Nice big welcome! Welcome to die! No? Doesn't have the same ring? There we go. Uh, cause, yeah, their comfort is fundamental to our business. Remember that. They want, and they'll go to the counter. Here, I'll pretend to buy stuff. Oh, I don't even have one of those. Where'd you get that? Can you give that to me? I want it. <laughs> I didn't even buy one of those. Is that like her weapon? Is she gonna stab me if I mess up? Uh, 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 I can't do it. Let's see the name and base price. Yes, base price is important. If you sell below that, you're dumb. <laughs> Button 3. Uh, I'm gonna have to remember which one that is. I think it's C up by default. Uh, no, no fourth wall again. Consult the custom EXT program if you wish to check or alter your button. What? What? My mind! Uh, you're really without enough to control as it is. Uh, another good one. Um. Okay. Decide what price you wish to offer. In general, you want to try and name a price higher than the base. Uh, let's see. Ah, there we go. I guess it's C. So that will raise your attack by 14, and yada yada. I haven't met any adventurers yet, but later that box on the right will become more important. Because only certain adventurers can use certain items, of course. You likely notice that the base price... Oh, I haven't even set a price yet. Raise your offer. Press up. Okay. I just want to see what happens if I do this. I usually don't do this. This is a terrible idea. If that is how you adjust your offers. Might be obvious if the customer is satisfied with your offer. It is a sale. Get a little bit of experience. Yes, yeah, see, that's where the merchant level comes in. In the bottom right, or bottom left. It says one right now. I'm level one. I am a weakling in the merchant world. If your price is too high, they'll they'll throw stuff at you. That'd be funny, though. Just throw things at you. Oh, Reset was KO'd. You lose! Customer disagrees with the price, but... And, and then you can negotiate. But I don't actually recommend negotiating. For uh, reasons I'll explain later. It's not generally worth it. Comfort, that is the key. Offer a price, but do not make it so outrageous the customer feels you're not acting in faith. Ideally, you were lower your offer a little, and they will take it. Some customers may just be trying to stand out a better price, and they're really willing to pay your initial price, however. Whether or not you risk... Tear is very, very, uh, greedy. Don't take her advice here. Don't even try to haggle most of the time. It doesn't earn you as much experience. Um, hopefully I can showcase that soon. But, honestly, there's no point to ever haggle. Even though money is really tight at the beginning, um... Sorry, hold on. The game's actually kind of loud now, so I don't know if you can hear me, so I'm gonna turn it down a bit. Because it reset back to what it was, uh, after my first few mistrials. Let's try that. That's probably better. Ah, uh, apparently my tester says it. you could hear me fine, but... But it was driving me crazy to have it that loud anyway. You'll not be able to haggle for very long. I think what this means is that as your merchant level goes up, uh, you will be able to haggle more, but like I said, don't worry about that. Or actually, each customer also has a, a individual like how much they like you, which isn't important for recruiting some adventurers and, in general, for getting people to buy more stuff. Could I get this, please? I think a price, right? Needs to be higher than the base price. Up button. Uh, I don't know. I don't have the controller in front of me. So, here's the... Here... This 108%. That's about the range you want to hit for most people. Some people it'll be 105. Like, little girls like Reset will come in. They can only pay like 104%. And the normal working class men can probably pay up to 115. But... If you don't know what you're doing, aim for about 108. 
Tier will be like, you should aim for 120%, but then you haggle, and you get less experience for that. At this level, a customer will likely buy immediately. Alright then, now for the fine art of haggling. Theoretically, what you wish to do... Yeah. Uh, it is to, I don't know if she's gonna make me haggle or what. Probably for trading purposes. Customers desire price and go from there. How do I do that? A large number of stores sell at about 30% no one will buy for that. Don't do that. That's ridiculous. No, Tira's just lying here. <laughs> and you usually won't haggle the, on this level unless it's a little girl. They usually will like 105%. Let's try that. Sell me an item, you'll be ready for what lies ahead. Let us begin. Alright, now since I didn't get any snarky remarks when I did this earlier, I want to try this. Oh, no, too high! That will anger the customers! Come, let us try again. <laughs> Darn. Um, what will she say if I offer it below se uh, base price? I just want to see what will happen. Oh no, that is wrong! Once more! No more snarky remarks. Okay, fine. Let's see what Tyr thinks about her own advice. Over long haggling will angle customers. Try again. <laughs> oh. So I just counted my underprices as overprices because it's like, you can't be that dumb as to do this. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to fix it the long way. Alright. Like I said, you want it about here, but let's see what tier wants. Did you go a little lower, perhaps, and then you drop it, you know, like, here? See, tier will do that. No one else will. And some of the especially angry people are also at 104%. Not just little girls, but some rude people. But you want them to buy your stuff, so you gotta give in. When in doubt, treat this game like you're a Walmart. Just trust me. Just pretend you're Walmart, sell everything at just above base price, and you will rake in the EXP like crazy. They're quite good for someone who has never done this before. A rare compliment from Tyr. We still have time. Let's let's actually sell stuff. Cause you have 55 picks, and that's not even enough for a loaf of bread. Probably should have kept some in reserve, but I think it'll work. Salesmanship is more of an art. So you learn as you go. Now I know what I'm doing, so I don't I don't need to worry too much about messing up here. Um, but I'll try to explain why you price low. At least for a while now. Well, it's hard to haggle on low value items, but let's try 110. Seems about what it's worth, yes. A near pin. Did you see that flash by? That plus 15? That means that I got near the exact price they expected it to be. That gives you a big bonus. But that's hard to pin down. Because, like, even if you know an old man buys something at 108%, uh, it still fluctuates a couple percent on each old man. So that's a great bonus, but it's not something you should rely on. It's very hard to get right. The other bonus I'll show you later. If... no, no, they only want to sell one thing. Congratulations, you did well. I... I sold stuff! I sold stuff, like, two people. No way. No way, Reset. I'm so happy! I did it! Papa... yeah. Yeah, her dad's important in this. You'll, you'll, I think you find out a bit later. And that's how we started running an item shop. Oh, you're wondering why we started an item shop at all? Well, it's my dad's fault. Everything is his fault. And they'll go into that. Hopefully this cutscene will play correctly. Hopefully it's not like the starting one. Uh, oh, they, they use this in the starting one. You might not be able to see this. I apologize, guys, if you can't see this part. Easy Game Station presents... A tale of a fairy, a girl. Okay, apparently it's there. Whew. And 
guide how to run an item shop. And great hardships and tear wanting to kill you several times over. That's the general idea. Now, I'm not actually sure if I'm pronouncing Reseteer right. Um, I've heard it pronounced Reketeer, which is closer to the pun they try to make on Racketeer. But I can't pronounce Reset's name as Raket. It doesn't make sense. So I pronounce it Reseteer. Anyway, small little side note there. The calendar says it's been three months since Papa left. I miss him so. I don't get why he suddenly said, I'm gonna become a hero. Well, he played too many RPGs. He played too many RP JRPGs like this one. Let this be a lesson to you parents. Just because your kids play RPGs doesn't mean you should try to emulate them. Saying he'd be back. I really hope he's okay. I'm getting lonely. It's been three months. I live all on my own. I don't even know if I have a mom because I never talk about her. The best thing about him is how tough he is. He'll be okay. And then... Stuff happens. <laughs> what? Papa wouldn't knock. Who is that? Hi. Oh, it's police! There's nobody here. It's a ninja. Oh, um, no, it's Tyr. Yeah, in case it's... It's not obvious from the sprite here, but Tyr's actually very small. Uh, probably... I mean, you, you saw her walking around behind Reset. She is actually a fairy. You are Madame. Yeah, she's definitely French. Mademoiselle Reset Lemongrass. Lemongrass, that's a fancy name. <laughs> Miss Fairy. <laughs> Excuse me, what did you call me? I mean, uh, yes, you're Reset. My name is Tyr. I am an agent of the Term Finance Company, and you owe us crap loads of money. What? I don't have money. I'm a little girl. Well, too bad. I am here to collect payment on a loan paid out to your father. Here is the contract and my identification. Uh, what do I do? I don't have money. I spent it all on candy. I'm, I'm here to get our money back. Give it back. Give it back or else I will take your house. Mwah. Yeah, well, okay. It's probably not that easy. She's like, oh god, I can't deal with all these big words. Facilitating? I don't, I don't, what does that mean? Oh, she understands C's, though. Like, no, not my house. But Papa isn't here. He's probably dead. Yeah, I can see you live on, on your own. You're ten years old. That's okay. It's okay to do that in JRPGs. <laughs> I love this picture. Disappeared following a fracas of the local volcano, so we assumed he might have returned here. Yeah, it's pretty obvious he's dead. Um, poor guy. But he tried to take on a dragon, that's kinda cool, right? Even if he hasn't, though, um, we're still gonna take your money. The sole remaining member of his household. You have to pay his money. How am I supposed to? I barely have enough money to live by, by myself. Well, alright, we aren't gonna make you pay it all at once. Instead, we're gonna drag it out and add, you know, 50% interest. You know how this works. A small amount of time before any payment is due. Am I gonna get sold off? <laughs> am I gonna get sold off in parts to distant foreign lands to repay Papa's debts? I wonder if I could survive with only two internal organs. Well, pick your two it carefully, because I, uh... Down. Down. You're at a luck reset. <laughs> Maybe if I eat a lot of spinach, I can replace my blood, and then I can jump through the window. But I don't want to be Popeye. I mean, a sailor. Gotta avoid copyright infringement. Shut up! Huh? Quit daydreaming! I won't sell you off. Instead, uh, you're quite the opposite. That's not really what that where that fits. The opposite of selling you off would be buying you back. I don't know. You wouldn't have to resort to such absurd methods to pay us back. Yeah, because that wouldn't work anyway. I have been sent to support you so that I can get my money back. It's an investment, see? <laughs> labor. Slave labor. 
I don't want to be a slave. I've never worked a single day in my life. Well, we just, we gotta change those child labor laws somehow. Just ask the arch conservatives, yeah. That's kind of a sidetrack, but uh, part of the reason I decided to finally do this is because I've been watching uh, some of Grimith's, Grimith R on YouTube, G-R-I-M-I-T-H-R. Um, been watching some of his, his, uh, he doesn't even call them Let's Plays, he calls them Let's Get On With It. Um, they're pretty hilarious. And the big one's Liberal Crime Squad, which is a pretty awesome game. I could Let's Play it, but he does it so much better. And I would fail horribly. But, yep. Liberal Crime Squad, Arch Conservatives, eh, I, I can explain the rest of the day. All that matters is whether you're willing to work. If you don't want to wish to work, well, um, you're on the street. Mwahahaha. <laughs> so, it really is like slave labor. Work or the house? Your money or your life? But you don't have money, so your life or your life. Splendid! I don't even know what I could do. I have an idea. The city is an adventuring hub. Adventurers everywhere, and that's probably why your father died. I mean, uh, well, that's, that's cruel of me to say, isn't it? Sell main city lanes, therefore you're going to sell stuff. Because how else do you make money in JRPGs? You sell things. What? Sell stuff? I don't know how to do that either. She was already saw. Um, it's not really relevant, but I guess I'll say here that this game takes the Etrian Odyssey approach, and by that I mean you will not loot gold from killing things, because that would make it way too easy. Instead, you loot various like uh, body parts, internal organs, you know, and then you have to sell those. Just throwing that out there. And it does char it does cost you to hire adventurers, so you have to you have to be pretty confident you can make back what you invest. Sets like I'm getting out of here. It's only gone for a little while market research. I don't know. You think it'd take a little longer than that, but if this is the only town in the universe, maybe not. Of course she fled, why would she not? All I did was threaten to take away everything she ever knew and loved. See? See, Tyr does have a heart, she just hates to show it. She's like, ah, this was a stupid idea. Poor girl must be terribly confused. On top of that, her father is probably... Well, we can't say the word dead in this game. Outside. There's Reset hammering a sign together. yay -ness! It's done! Yeah. Hey, Tyr, look, it's done! What? What is that? It's the ugliest sign I've ever seen. It's a shop sign. Doesn't it look cool? You can't be a shop without what Well, I don't want to be a shop. I want to run a shop, Reset. Come on, get with the program. It is quite well made, although <laughs> it's ugly. <laughs> I've always been good at making stuff. Uh, well, you see, the sign, and this is where the pun comes in. She's like, you know, that sounds like Racketeer. And Reset doesn't get it. Are you quite sure you thought the name through? Reseteer! We're partners, right? You said so. For Reset and Tear together, it's Reseteer. Isn't it neat? Uh, the sentiment's commendable, but... It's two of us opening the store, isn't it? You don't like it? Uh, that is... Decided. Reseteer, ho! Mispronounce it even slightly, and... Reketeer. Racket. Ah. Uh, okay, I guess it's official. It's supposed to be Reketeer. So yeah, there's a... there's a, I'm gonna still say Reseteer. Screw the game. But, there you have it. There's how it's supposed to be pronounced. Reketeer, and then Racket. There you go. So it's official. <laughs> this job is gonna be even more absurdly difficult than I originally suspected, I fear. Yep. Tear is pretty miserable the entire time. And Reset's Reset just like, I'm a ten-year-old anime girl! Nothing can get me down! This is fun and exciting! 